Hello, good evening. How are you? Hola, buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? ¿Qué tal? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. ¿Qué tal su día? Very busy. Very busy. Very busy. Really? Oh, yeah. Very good. Very good. That's awesome then. Okay, so if you're very good. I think it's the same. I'm so sorry, what was that? And tomorrow, I think uh, that will be the same. Oh, yeah, right. Probably we will might have the, the same thing, right? Yes. Uh, every day. I truly understand. Yes. Well, um, in this case, right, uh, since we have most likely everything the same every day, um, it's just uh, something that we need to get accustomed to, right? Uh, maybe a couple of changes in the day, right? Changes that we can go ahead and produce. That would be good, right? Uh, just not to get us stuck into the routine. Because when you get us stuck into the routine, that's a, a real problem, right? You might start getting uh, tired, I'm happy, and all of that, right? So when you are not happy at the end, um, then you don't feel comfortable at your workplace, right? So that's something that is not good. Uh, si ustedes pueden generar algunos cambios, ¿verdad? Que sean buenos dentro de su rutina, háganlo. Porque al final, ¿verdad? Realmente eh, cuando pasan esas cosas, lo que sucede es de que no nos empezamos a sentir bien en el trabajo. A veces, um, simple y sencillamente, pues, ya no nos sentimos felices y cuando ya no estamos contentos, eso es, eso es problema, ¿verdad? Así que... Anyways, right, it is what it is, like someone was telling to me a couple of days ago. But anyways, right, I'm here. <laughs> Estoy por acá, ¿verdad? Eh, pues vamos a comenzar. Y muchas cosas que están pasando, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, la llegada del, del hurricane to United States, which has been something crazy. I don't know if you have the opportunity to watch the news, you will see the evacuations that they are doing. Uh, that's crazy, right? Uh, they are into a, a real uh, problematic situation at the moment there in the Florida state. And here as well, we are gonna suffer a little bit because we receive a couple of rains too, right? Since we've been through all of this during these months, right? So let's see, uh, for today's agenda, right, uh, it's September the 27th, we are almost done with our classes, uh, so it's the conference number 12, we are going to be discussing about food and the present perfect and simple past. Just before that we get started, I got this curiosity, right, uh, the whole day, but I didn't want to ask on the group. I uh, was just um, having this curiosity if you have studied the present perfect or no yet. Eh, tenía la curiosidad, ¿verdad? Toda la tarde estuve con esa curiosidad de que quería saber si habían estudiado el presente perfecto o no. Entonces, eh, no sé, ¿verdad? Si lo habían estudiado o no, no lo habían estudiado. Uh -huh. Yo en mi caso sí, pero no, no en esta, no con ustedes. Ok, comprendo. Ya veo. Eh, los demás del grupo, los demás compañeros. Sí, también, teacher, igual que el compañero. Igual que el compañero, con una experiencia previa. Ok. Alguien, entonces acá sería quizás mi pregunta, ¿hay alguien que no lo haya estudiado o que si lo estudió no se recuerde para hacer un pequeño repaso? Sin pena, ¿verdad? Porque acá lo que sucede es de que mi pregunta viene por lo siguiente, porque el, uh, esta vez eh, van a estar ambos combinados, ¿verdad? No vienen por separado sino que se van a utilizar juntos. Entonces, eh, esa es mi pregunta. Yo sé que Simple Pass sí lo vieron porque vi un, un pequeño video donde estuvieron estudiando Simple Pass con la colega, 
pero no vi nada del present perfect. Entonces, eh, por eso es mi pregunta. O prefieren hacer un repaso, ¿verdad? Por si a alguien le, le da pena, ¿verdad? Mi teacher, I, I, I don't remember. Uh, don't remember. All right, so thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, so thank you. Uh, thank you for being honest, right? Uh, I, as I said, I don't have any problem with that. So as you might be able to see here, uh, supposedly on this class, right, we should be studying the adverse of sequency, uh, or the sequency adverse. However, uh, since yesterday we did the midterm and as well the, the wish examples, right? All right, thank you, Mario. Um, and uh, the wish, right? We study wish. So that one was just to place that we are going to just give it a one day more, right? To the topics. So let's get it started then. Uh, we are gonna have this unit, which is the unit number four. And the name of this unit is I've never heard that, right? So that is the name of the unit. And as you might be able to see here, right? We have uh, food. We are gonna be talking about food. So let's see, um, here I have something for you so we can talk a little bit. We have uh, some dishes, right? From South Korea, Brazil, Morocco, and Singapore. By just looking at the pictures, the four pictures that we have there and looking up to the names, right, but not to the descriptions, do you or would you like to test, right, or try one of these dishes just by looking at them? Como pueden ver acá tenemos cuatro países, ¿verdad? Tenemos Corea del Norte, Brasil, Morocco y también pues eh, lo que es Singapur. Y tenemos cuatro, pues, lo que son eh, platillos de, la, de los lugares, estos lugares de esos países. Pero ustedes sin mirar la descripción del platillo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que está ahí? ¿Les gustaría probar alguno de ellos? ¿En why? ¿Y si les gustaría probar alguno, por qué? Tell me. Talk to me. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you feel attracted to one of those ones? ¿Se sienten ustedes atraídos hacia uno de ellos solo por verlo o no? Uh, I would like no, to try them. No. No, I don't like it. <laughs> no, no, not them. <laughs> I would like to try them all. The one from where? I'm sorry. I would like I would like to try them all. You would like to try them all, okay? Yeah. All right. Someone said that I would like to try them all, right? Okay. Erica say that none of them uh, seems to be like to her, right? Okay. They don't have a good look, right? When I when I travel another country, when I travel another country, I uh -huh. like to prove uh, another kind of food uh, because oh. it's a hard Wendy's. Uh, I eat them in my country, but another country I want to prove that food. Okay. I don't know that food. Okay, taste. In, okay. Instead taste. of proof, Sorry. it will be taste. Mm -hmm. Taste. Taste. Okay. okay. Yeah, right? Okay, sure. Yes, right. Uh, when you travel another country, it's really common to find uh, different uh, race, uh, different restaurants from fast food, right? The ones that we already know or the ones that we have here in the country, which is really difficult to to taste, right? It, it will be the local food, right, that they have. For example, in South Korea, this one, right, uh, the bulgogi. So this one is a beef marinade with so sauce and other species, right? So this one, it seems to be that is uh, just meat, right? So that you will get it with, uh, it seems to be that it's gonna be a spicy, right? And with different vegetables. Este es South Korea, parece que es eh, viste, ¿verdad? En este caso, o lo que comúnmente nosotros conocemos como viste, es carne literalmente con especias, ¿verdad? Y salsa de soya. So, seems to be that it will be something that we can try, right? We, because we are familiar, right? So, uh, let's see another one. Uh, Brazil, right? Um, 
the fijo, uh, fejolda. I don't know how you say, right? It's a dish made of black beans, garlic, and especies and meat. So, aquí parece que está hecho del frijol que nosotros llamamos el frijol mono, ¿verdad? Que es el frijol negrito. Y este dice que lleva lo que es uh, ajo, especies y carne. Dígame, Lily. ¿Puedo decir cómo se dice el nombre de la comida? Sí, claro. Feichuada. Feichuada. Ok, thank you. Thank you. Right? Uh, that one I didn't okay. know, right? Tell me. <laughs> no, 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 yo de ser porque lo escuché es que antes me metía a Duolingo a practicar. <laughs> All right, that's good. Feichuada, right? Yes, it sounds like, uh, well, like Portuguese, right? Feichuada, yeah. For me, right, it, it would be black beans, right? <laughs> In that case, yo le dije, mira, deme del black beans, right? <laughs> so, at dishes, right? So, thank you, Lily. So, we already know this one, right? So, from Morocco, the lamb tagni. Uh, this one is said that it says two of vegetables, lamb, fruit, and a species cook it in a clay dish. So, aquí parece que esto está cocinado en un plato de lo que es... Um, de lo que nosotros llamamos bar, ¿verdad? Lleva vegetales, también lo que es cordero, frutas y algunas especies. Which sounds uh, good, right? But maybe because of the fruit, it might be something that I won't try, right? Personally. Does someone would like to try this? ¿A alguien le gustaría probar esto? ¿A alguien le gustaría probar esto? Yes, me teacher. All right. Me teacher. Okay. All right. Why? Por qué? Because of the fruit? Be vegetables. Vegetables. Because of the vegetables. Okay. All right. Okay. Someone else say yes. Why would you like to try it? Por qué le gustaría intentarlo? Tell me. Tell me. Maybe it's something that I'm not looking at this dish, right? Okay. All right, so let's advance then. Uh, we got one from Singapore, right? Fish head curry, right? Uh, it's a dish made from a fish head, cook it in rich curry sauce, right? So I never had tried curry. I heard about that, but I never had tried it. I can say that I have tried the fish soup, right? So I imagine that it might be the same. How would you like to try this one? Or no. Les gustaría intentar este de Singapur. Dice que es, uh, es un plato hecho de la cabeza del pescado con una rica salsa de curry, ¿verdad? Yo he escuchado hablar del curry, pero nunca he probado el curry, ¿verdad? En este caso, entonces no sé qué sabor tenga. He probado lo que es la, la sopa de pescado y me imagino que quizás, ¿verdad? Podría parecer igual, pero no sé si alguien acá ha probado algo así o ha probado el curry that can tell us, right? Yo creo que el curry en realidad es como como lo que nosotros llamamos lo del comino. Oh. Uh -huh. Es rojo, Entonces, ¿verdad? Mm, no, es como oh. entre un color um, Ay, no sé cómo. Mm, un poco marrón, de, digamos. Poco eh, marrón. De hecho, ajá, de hecho, en la despensa. Digo, porque yo compro seguido eso. Ah, okay. de, venden la cosita de curry así, en McCormick. Uh -huh. Y, uy, Dios, te hace un guiso de, de, de pollito con patitas y todo lo que sea. Queda, wow. Queda delicioso. delicioso. Okay. Igual puede probar una salsa de la tía María que se llama, esa es mexicana y está hecha a base de curry y un montón de cositas así solo le echas al pollo y sabe pero es delicioso oh wow Ay, así que me imagino que el pescado debe saber bueno puede ser verdad, si sí, sí, le da el sabor uh -huh. a la comida, it might be right uh, because uh -huh. if it is giving you a good taste on any other food as well this one might be good too right, uh -huh. yeah thank you, I will try it I'll uh -huh. try it right so, podemos intentar eso, ¿verdad? Um, here, uh, honestly, this one doesn't call the attention to me because um, it sounds like fish, right? And I say I don't have any experience with curry. 
So I'm afraid that probably I won't like it, right? So that is this is but this is me, right? But this is me. So if you told me that curry, it is delicious and give you a good taste on the food, so that it will be fine, right? Being know that. Uh, so now that we have already know that, uh, would you like to try it? The rest of the class. Ya sabiendo esto, nosotros acerca del curry se animarían a probar. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Sounds like a doubt, right? That yeah, maybe. No teacher. No teacher. I don't know why they say no because uh, when for Christmas uh, the pancitos con pollo are made with with um, comino. I don't know how can I say it in English, but the uh, uh, the los pancitos con pollo are prepared with uh, something like curry and comino uh, um, and other species. So. I see. So, so well, that's why I don't know why you, <laughs> they they said uh, they don't like to try, but, but it's okay. I just it was um surprise for me to hear hear that. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, this one, right? Uh, el comino se dice cumin, right? Cumin. Para que ustedes lo sepan. No sé si pueden ver el... Um, el Thank you. Chat. No, no ven el notepad, ¿verdad que no? Ok, vamos a ver si así no. pueden ver mi notepad. ¿Pueden ver el notepad? ¿Sí? No, sí. Yes. yes. Yes, ok. So, uh, comino es esto, ¿verdad? Es este, este cumin, ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, well, I think uh, uh, it's not that, uh, probably it's not that we haven't tasted this, right? Uh, the, the cumin or the curry, right? However, I think uh, uh, the situation here, it is that is something that we don't know exactly how it will taste, right? I guess that uh, the panes con pollo, uh, we are used to, to the uh, chicken, right, with sauce. And we already know that maybe it might have this species, but I think uh, uh, that our, well, our concern, right, regarding to this food is the way that you are looking at the dish you know that it has fish, right? And for the fish, we already know that has an, an, uh, a pretty peculiar uh, taste and a smell, right? You can smell it. And then you have the curry. So I think uh, is uh, the, the situation to see both of them together, right? So, uh, but this is, that is my opinion, right? Yo creo que quizás acá con los compañeros, ¿verdad? Los que, los que estamos así como que más, ¿lo probaríamos o no? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> de saber el sabor, ¿verdad? Que, te, que tiene el, el, ya sea el, el comino o el curry, si no es de ver el, el, el plato, verlo ahí, saber que lleva pescado, pero en mi caso, ¿verdad? Yo sé que el pescado tiene un olor bien peculiar y ya con el, con el bueno, con, con la, si me dicen que es como el, la salsita del pollo, ¿verdad? Que cuando hacemos eh, los panes con pollo, puedo imaginarme que tiene cierto olor. Entonces esas dos cosas combinadas, it's like, how it's gonna smell, right? Pero como les digo, es una opinión personal. Cada quien lo, lo que se atreve a probar. Uh, I... for, for you guys, uh, have you ever eaten frog legs? Frog legs. Frog legs. Spanish anca de rana. Oh no. 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 <laughs> I once had frog legs in Chinese restaurant. Really? Very really? delicious, like a pollo, like a chicken. Wow. Chicken? Mm. All right. I can't imagine that in my, in my si mouth. Si ustedes se las ponen, parece pollo. No se imaginarían que es, que es rana. Hasta que les dicen. De lo contrario, <laughs> dicen que es pollo. <laughs> okay. I won't buy any more. <laughs> 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 Uh, ya no hay que comprar cosas en restaurante chino, right? So, uh, yeah. The only thing that I don't like about uh, some Asian restaurants, but maybe not here in El Salvador, but the ones that 
they are in Asia, right, is that the majority of the animals, they are still alive when they are just preparing them, right? So because uh, things from their culture, right? So that's maybe what it makes me feel kind of, uh, I don't know, not maybe disappointed or you, you, you are doing the you, right, <laughs> to the food because of that situation. Um, quizás lo único ahora que yo tengo con los restaurantes asiáticos es que la mayoría de los animales que ellos cocinan están vivos al momento de estarlos preparando, cocinando, eh, por la cuestión cultural que ellos tienen. Entonces, eh, yo creo que tal vez literalmente dentro de Asia no me atrevería a probar muchas cosas por esa situación. Acá quizás sí, quizás sí, uh, but the fraud... I don't think I would be able to go ahead and eat a frog, <laughs> to be honest, in my case, right? But if you say that it's like chicken, okay, that's fine, right? If you see uh, the food, it's like a chicken, and the taste is like a chicken. Okay. All right, as well, they say that the snakes, they uh, the taste is like a chicken, right? No, yes. the snakes, no. No, uh, no, no, it's like a fish. Like a fish? Okay. Yeah, I I've never uh, tasted that, but I I heard something like the the snake. Um, um how can I say? No, sabe taste? pescado. Taste? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sabe a pescado. Well, I eat uh, uh, garrobo. Garrobo is it's a it's an animal. Really? Uh, no, and have you ever ate? I'm from San Miguel. And I eat uh, garrobo, sustancia de garrobo. Okay. Delicious. When I was a, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I taste uh, sopon de garrobo. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy food to hear, right? Uh, so if you don't have any any other things to eat, you you have to to um to go and hold the garrobo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. All right. And and what what do you have to tell me about the peliway? Have you ever tried that thing? No. It's like I a beef peliway. Like a beef. It smells okay. weird. Really? Okay. All right. What about the lamb? Which one? I'm sorry. Lamb. Lamb. No, I never, yeah. I never, I never had eaten lamb. It's so delicious. It's delicious. And, and the, the meat is so soft. Really? You can go, yeah, you can go to Walmart and, okay. and buy um, lamb. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and it, it takes like beef. Mm -hmm. All right. And is it uh, white or is red? As, uh, as uh, the it seems like pork. Like pork, similar uh -huh, to the pork, just, like a kind uh -huh. of pink. Okay. Mm, uh -huh. Just just the, the appearance, but not the, the... But not the taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see. All right. So no, no, I never I never had tried it. Uh, maybe the reason, uh, because uh, I never have the curiosity to buy the, this type of the meat right, uh, in the supermarket is because uh, I think that there is not any easy, easy way to prepare them, right? So how you are gonna cook them, right? So my first time when I, I taste lamb, it was uh, my bad because I, I, I bought that thinking the, um, it was pork. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I, it was my I, mistake. <laughs> I, yeah, I made uh, beans soup, and I uh, the Why? the pork. Uh -huh, yeah, mm. yeah, and then I realized that I was uh, eating um lamb. Okay, <laughs> it was. I think that it was lomito. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good, good, right? So that it would be a good way to prepare them. So instead of pork, maybe you can add it to the beans. So that's a good idea, right? So maybe one day I will try it and I'll let you know, right? If I if I buy one of these things, because I'm not quite sure how to prepare them or how to do them. You can see different uh, recipes that you might have, right? Uh, 
or either in uh, any platform or any recipe book that you might have. And they like uh, real and really, and they looks like a kind of complicated things, right? That you need to go ahead and buy different things that you might not have it at home or that you are not used to have it at home, right? So that's why maybe, but I'll try it, right? Thank you, that was really good. So do you have any question or something else about this, my friends, or any other comment? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta o algún otro comentario con respecto a esto? Gracias a todos los que participaron, ¿verdad? I see that you like to taste different things. Ya lo vi que le gusta pues probar de diferentes cosas. ¿Verdad? What about crickets? Crickets. Yes. No, I haven't tried it, but they say that they are delicious. So many people, they say that they have survived in the mountains eating uh, those <laughs> animals, <laughs> right? Oh. Crickets, and I have seen in uh, different Asian markets, like a food market, right? Or a street, uh, a street restaurant or street food that they have like a kind of pinchos made of crickets, right? And scorpions, cockroach, and all of those things. <laughs> Uh, Have you so tried it? No. Roach, no. <laughs> but uh, a cricket in Mexico, they sell crickets to eat. I really? think if, if some sell me, I eat them. You eat them? I, okay. Yes, I want to I want to, to taste it. Okay. And how did um how was it? It was good. Nothing. No, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't taste it. I want to taste it. Oh, you wanted to taste them, but uh -huh. you didn't have the opportunity. I see. Okay. All right. Uh, many people, they say that they are really good, right? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I, I don't know if I will be able to eat something like that, right? Maybe in a survivor situation, maybe yes. But I don't know if I will be able to taste them, right? So I have seen in different videos that, yes, they have it in the uh, street restaurants or the street food in different countries that they have pinchos, they made different things with crickets and all of these insects, right? All of these animals. So I don't know, right? But anyways, right? Can you imagine if we have like a kind of a farm of cockroach just to sell them? No, no. no. Yes. <laughs> but here in, the, here, in, here in El Salvador, uh, the people eat the tacuacin. Oh yeah, they eat the tacuache, all right? Wow. No, yeah, no. They eat no, it. no, 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 no. I never had tried that one, right? I'm afraid of them. So <laughs> I think they are uh, kind of afraid of me too, but I just leave them alone, right? <laughs> so they can I go wouldn't, whenever they I have wouldn't their... eat it. No, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> yeah, right. They're kind of, uh, I don't know, right? They seem to be not too, too safety to eat, right? <laughs> but yeah, there are many people that eat them. They eat them. And they eat different things, right? So that you cannot imagine. So I was uh, just talking about food. I was watching uh, a, a video that as well, I don't know if it was in Thai, Thailand, Korea or Japan, I cannot remember the country, that they had opened a restaurant that you can eat human meat. And I was like, are you serious, human meat? And they say that, yes, they are selling human uh, human meat. Uh, they pay, right? Uh, or there's people that offer them like a volunteer and they give money to the family and uh, they use the, the, the meat from the body of these persons to sell them, right? And it's a restaurant. And I was like, oh my God, right? Uh, people is now getting... Uh, Worst and worst, right? Uh, talking about food, right? Just, just want to bring this to you like a curiosity. If you can Google it, go ahead and Google it because uh, they were presenting this, uh, this new, right? In, um, I think it was in one of the uh, Americans news channels that they were presenting this. I'm not quite sure, but they say, they say that they, they were selling uh, human meat. And I was like... Uh, well, right, uh, people is getting worse and worse, right? After eating everything that they can, now they go with humans, right? So just Google it and you will see it. 
I think that this is was something crazy. I just want to bring this curiosity to you because uh, besides uh, we as a humans, right? Besides that we are eating everything that we have on our hands, right? Even from the ocean or in the air, now they are going with something different, right? So we have to be prepared for to see many crazy things, right? So does someone has any other question or comment about this? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta o comentario acerca de esto? No? No, teacher. No. All right. So we are going to go uh, on this, right? Uh, this is a conversation. Have you ever, right? So we are going to listen to the conversation between Steve and Kathy. Give me one second. I'm going to just put this and I'm going to look for the conversation, right? Give me one second. <clears throat> Oops. This is the snapping tool. Conversation two. Let's see. I guess I have the conversation with me in number four. I take loud exercise. No. Oh. Okay. Let me see. Harvey. Okay, so ready. Am I ready? Am I ready? And I'm ready to share the audio. Please. Um, Four. I've never heard of that. Can you hear? Pueden escucharlo. Yes. Yes. Okay. Twenty-two. Exercise two. Conversation. Have you ever? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Yeah. It does, right? Would you like to hear it once again? Yes, please. Okay. Unit four. I've never heard of that. Page 22, exercise two, conversation. Have you ever? Part A, listen and practice. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay. So prior uh, week on something, would you like to listen to it once again or that's fine? Quieren escucharlo una vez más? Oh, eso está bien. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Yes. Uh, here, uh, yeah, we do, right? And shells as well. Uh, here, right? We got them in cocktails, right? So this one, it will be more uh, something like a French uh, thing, right? They uh, eat the snails, right? I'm not quite sure if they are delicious or not, right? I never have done it. Do you have any question uh, about this conversation? ¿Tienen ustedes alguna pregunta concerniente a esta conversación? What is snails? 
the snails, uh, the snails son los caracoles. Oh. And garlic, what does mean garlic? Garlic. What is it? Uh, well, uh, with garlic. The snail with garlic. Ah. El ajillo. Lo que nosotros le decimos acá. Ah, sí, sí. sí, los caracoles al ajillo, diría alguien, ¿verdad? Bueno, no sé. ¿Se atreverían ustedes? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. 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 I don't, I don't like uh, brain. The brains. Like, brains like a huevo, a eggs. What is brains? Brains. The brain. The brain. Oh, hello. <laughs> fried brain. Yeah, and fried. It says fried, right? It tastes it's like a huevo. Yeah, it, uh, this one, right, looks like a scrambled <laughs> eggs, right? Aquí parece como que si tuviera huevos revueltos, but, but yeah, um, I don't know. Um, so many people in the market, I saw that they asked for the brain of the cow, right? So he visto que algunas personas sí preguntan por el, por el cerebro de, de esos animalitos, ¿verdad? De la, de la carne de la red, de lo que es la, la vaca o el, el buey, en este caso, the ox. Uh, but I don't know, right, if they really, they really eat it or they use it for something else or to manufacture something, right? But I don't know, I, I, I'm afraid I won't try it this, right? Would you like to try it at the brain? ¿Ustedes lo, 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 lo probarían en algún momento? Yes, I tried. No. You would like to... uh -huh. Someone else? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> maybe. I tried. It can be. Maybe it can be, right? Yeah, maybe it can be. Yeah. Porque se comen los huevitos de toro. I have already eaten it. Oh, yeah, they eat like it, right? Eggs. It's like eggs. Uh, it's, not, it's not a big surprise. It's, it's, no, no, I prefer, I prefer um, nails, snails. The snails, okay. Snails. Yeah, it's yeah, I think it'll, yeah, I will choose the snails too, right? Instead of the brain. Yeah, instead of the brain. I I like uh, those uh, horror movies, right? Uh, or yes, horror movies and all of that thing. And uh, the only way that I have seen brains, right, is when these crazy people either eat them or either just just, uh, just kill the people. So I, I don't think I will try. It, right? So because of those movies, right? So I see it like a kind of the. Yes, Something the out doctor. of my, my strains, huh? The Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Oh, yeah, great. that one. <laughs> yes, Hannibal, right? Ugh. That's, that's, that's right. something, yeah, that's something horrible. Yeah, you can remember that, uh, that scene, right, where he's in the kitchen and he has someone, right, and he's cooking. And I was like, oh, no. And when I heard this, right, and I was like, oh, Hell no, that's the only <laughs> that's the only thing that comes to my mind that you seen right from that movie. So yeah, it's 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 horrible. But anyways, right? So uh we are gonna listen to part B. Let's listen to the rest of the conversation. We will try to answer these questions. How did Steve light the freight brains? What else did he order? Right. So let me check the conversation, right? There we go. to the rest of the conversation. How did Steve... You are able to hear it? Yes? Yeah. Yes, oh, sure. Fried brains. Yeah. Okay. What else did he order? Oh, good. Here comes our server now. Here are your snails. And for you, sir, the fried brains. Thank you. These snails are delicious. How are the brains? Well, I think they're... Yuck. Oh, sorry. I guess brains are too strange for me. Um, I think I'm going to order something else, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Excuse me. Yes? 
Um, I really don't care for this appetizer. Could you bring me something else? Yes, of course. What would you like instead? Try the snails. No, I don't think so. I'll tell you what. Just forget an appetizer for me and bring me a nice, juicy hamburger with french fries and a large soda. Okay. Would you like to listen once again? Yes, please. Yes, right. yes please. Page 22, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How did Steve like the fried brains? What else did he order? Oh, good. Here comes our server now. Here are your snails. And for you, sir, the fried brains. Thank you. Mmm, these snails are delicious. How are the brains? Well, I think they're... Yuck. Oh, sorry. I guess brains are too strange for me. Um, I think I'm going to order something else, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Excuse me. Yes? Um, I really don't care for this appetizer. Could you bring me something else? Yes, of course. What would you like instead? Try the snails. No, I don't think so. I'll tell you what. Just forget an appetizer for me and bring me a nice, juicy hamburger with french fries and a large soda. Okay. So that's fine. Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yep. Nope. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So tell me, <laughs> what happened with the Steve and the brains? He was able to eat them or not? No. Steve prefer. Don't a care nice about the appetizer, right? Hamburger. And he ordered his stuff to what? A, a fry brain. Instead no. of. Oh, go ahead. Hamburger yeah, uh, and fries and ju juice. A juicy Large. hamburger, right? Uh, yeah. In a big soda, right? A large soda. So yeah, and what uh, Kathy suggests him? ¿Qué fue lo que Kathy le sugirió? Snail. The nails. Snails. Snails, right? Snail. Try the snails. And he said no, right? Uh, he didn't like the brains and he won't get into the race with the snails, right? So he ordered something like a hamburger. What a crazy situation. Miss, sorry, yep. excuse me. Uh, I don't, I, I didn't understand the first part. Uh, can you tell me uh, in Spanish? What is the, cuando llaman al mesero, por favor, me podría decir como dicen? Es, es que casi no lo entiendo en la primera parte. Ah, ok, sí, déjame repetir el audio porque ese sí no me acuerdo qué es lo que dice. Page 22, okay, exercise gracias. 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How did Steve like the fried brains? What else did he order? Oh, good. Here comes our server now. Here are your snails. And for you, sir? ¿Es esa parte o no? Todavía no. Sí, esa parte donde la chica le dice si ya viene el, el verde el mesero para pedir la orden no sé cómo Here qué es lo que is. dice ahí es que no le entiendo oh. mucho yeah. oh good here comes our server now okay uh, oh good here comes our server now eh, aquí viene nuestra orden o la persona de servicio verdad eh, en este momento our server este server es el, el waiter, right? Que es lo mismo. Server y waiter son lo mismo. Uh, por lo que se ve acá, por lo general, estos, uh, cuando nosotros nos referimos a un waiter, los waiters son así como los de los restaurantes. Eh, pues, ¿qué le puedo decir de los restaurantes? Eh, de los restaurantes comunes, ¿verdad? En este caso. 
así como a uh, Pizza Hub, así como, ¿qué le puedo decir? a um, McDonald's y todo eso. Cuando se refieren a un server, en el caso de los servers, son estas personas que andan bien, bien trajeadas, ¿verdad? Son uh, más que todo de, de ya de los, de los restaurantes, un poquito más, más caros. Entonces, por eso dice ella, oh, good, here's come our server, right? So that's what she said. Mm -hmm. El server. Okay, gracias, es que como también lo dije un poco rápido, no, no me entendía y tampoco no sabía la palabra esa, server. Server. Gracias. Bueno, ya sabes. No, sí, verdad, en este caso eh, son ambos, eh, son ambas cosas, el, el waiter y el, y el server, solamente que se hace la pequeña distinción entre estas personas que andan así como que bien, bien trajeadas y las personas que andan eh, solamente, verdad, con, con su... Con su otro. A unos les dicen eh, camareros, como este, ¿verdad? Camarero. Y a otros le dicen mesero, solamente para hacer la distinción. Y hay otros que a ellos eh, le llaman capitán, ¿verdad? También les dicen capitán a la persona encargada de una mesa directamente o de un área directamente. Entonces ahí, ahí depende, ¿verdad? De, del lugar que se visite y todo lo demás. ¿Verdad? Así que eso sería. No sé si hay algún, alguien más con alguna pregunta, duda, comentario. No, teacher. No. Okay. So, as you might be able to see here, right, uh, we have the use of the simple past as well. We have a present perfect, right? So, that's what we are going to be a study as a part of our grammar topic. We are going to go on both of them, right? at this moment. So as you might just tell me that you would like to do a really quick recap on the present perfect, this is what I have, right? Because we are gonna be in a study, uh, simple past and present perfect. So we are gonna concentrate in this part, which is gonna be the light blue part, right? So in the light blue part, we have the present perfect tense. On the present perfect tense, there is something that we need to remember, right? Or especially every time that we are going to study a tense, we need to remember why and when you are going to use it. That's something, right? Or how in this case. So we need to remember that present perfect will help us to describe unfinished time, right? To refer to an infinitive time or to express an experience or result, right? So in either or of these cases is when we are gonna use present perfect. So acá, verdad, en este caso, eh, lo que nosotros tenemos que recordar cada vez que estemos estudiando un tiempo es el por qué y cuándo nosotros lo vamos a utilizar. Why is this important? Is because uh, whenever we have mid sentence, uh, mid tenses, I'm sorry, we need to identify uh, what is the situation going on so we can decide which is the best tense that is going to fit in our sentence. En este caso es importante porque cuando nosotros tenemos una situación, ¿verdad? En este caso se nos presenta una situación cuando nosotros vamos a utilizar o a expresarnos, tenemos que decidir cuál es el tiempo que mejor eh, se relaciona con la situación que estamos teniendo. Para saber eso, tenemos que concentrarnos en los usos de ellos. En el caso del presente perfecto, uno de los usos es para describir cosas que todavía no han terminado, ¿verdad? O situaciones que no han terminado, que todavía siguen en progreso, que tuvieron un inicio en el pasado, pero tienen afectación todavía en el presente y probablemente lo va a, pas va a pasar en el futuro. Tenemos también eh, para referirnos en este caso a cosas o tiempos indefinidos, ¿verdad? Para referirnos a un tiempo indefinido y también para expresar experiencias o resultados. Entonces, en esas tres situaciones es cuando yo empiezo a utilizar el presente perfecto. As you might be able to see in each of them, down down, you have an example. For example, in the very first one, it says, I worked as a teacher since the 2011. Then I have, I have seen the Eiffel Tower, right? So in this case, she has already watched this movie 
three times. So here we have a different examples in each of the situations. For example, in the very first one, uh, this person, right? It's been work as a teacher as since the 2011. Is this still happening? Yes, this person is still working, right? Probably the next coming year, it's gonna happen the same. It's gonna be a teacher once again. So this is an unfinished situation, an unfinished time, right? So we don't know when this person is gonna stop to being a teacher. So this one, it's gonna continue in the future. It's in the present and it started in the past, right? In the 2011. ¿Qué es lo que pasa acá? En la primera, ¿verdad? Tenemos que dice, eh, yo he trabajado como maestro desde el 2011. En este caso del 2011, ¿verdad? Pues ahora estamos en el 2022. Sabemos que han pasado ya bastante tiempo. Entonces, esta acción comenzó en el pasado. Continúa en el presente y probablemente va a continuar en el futuro, el siguiente año, esta misma persona trabajando como maestro. Entonces, de esa manera se utiliza el presente perfecto para describir una acción, una situación que no tiene tiempo determinado de ser finalizada. Entonces, va a seguir afectando, ¿verdad? Uh, en la siguiente, I have seen the Eiffel Tower. Yo he visto la Torre Eiffel. Probablemente esta persona, por contexto, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir que todavía está en París, sigue en París y va a seguir en París, por lo tanto va a seguir viendo la Torre Eiffel durante mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Hasta que esta persona decida que va a regresar. So, veamos la siguiente. She has already watched this movie three times. Ella ya ha visto esta película tres veces. Entonces, eh, ¿verdad? Es una experiencia, es un resultado durante las tres veces en este caso que ha visto ella la película, pues probablemente hasta ya se sepa los diálogos. Entonces, de esta manera se utiliza el presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Esos serían los usos y nos vamos a ir a la estructura. Pero no sé si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta concerniente a los usos en este momento. No, no, mes. Perfecto. So, si no hay preguntas o si les surge alguna duda, ¿verdad? En el momento que estemos acá viendo la estructura, igual me lo dejan saber. No hay ningún problema. Veamos por acá. Siempre olvido abrir una pizarra aquí, vean. No bueno, es lo mismo. Yo antes tenía muchos marcadores de colores. Ahora pregúntenme cuántos tengo, no tengo ninguno. Después de la pandemia, todo se me perdió. Vamos a ver acá. Tenemos presente perfecto. Bueno. So, in the present perfect, uh, we are going to have just the use of something that is called auxiliary, right? The majority of auxiliaries, uh, they are uh, verbs, right? And they can be option verbs depending on where are they located. So we have the auxiliary as the verb have, right? So we are going to have as an auxiliary the verb have in either of the forms, have or has, right? So this one will depend on what type of uh, personal pronoun or subject you are using. So we are going to divide it in the personal pronouns at the moment. Okay. So I'm going to make something like this because of the space. That I want to choose. Okay. Okay. And it, right? So let me see if I have the shape here. All right. This one it's going to fit perfect. Okay, and let me see if I can use another one, the same one or not. Sorry that maybe the, the shapes are not going to fit uh, well, but the idea is there. 
So let's see this one. This one fits really good. And let me place something. Okay. Here is gonna be have I can copy and paste it. And I'm gonna have hats, right? So try to make it bigger. Let's see which one is gonna fit. This one and this one. Mm, okay, uh, so here, right? This is what we have. So depending on what type of personal pronoun, or in this case, the subject that you will have, you will need to use either have or has. So just to make it clear, uh, we are gonna use it with the first, second person in plural and singular. We are gonna be using the auxiliary in the way have. And with the third person, he, she, and it, we are gonna be using has. You cannot combine them. Right, so it means that you cannot use I has, right? You don't have to use he has, so they are not combined together, right? So they are exclusive for each of the personal pronouns. Please uh, remember that so you don't have to, you are not going to make a mistake in this case, right? Been using something. Let's remember that if you have something in plural, right, uh, you will need to use have. Right. If you are talking about something in plural and uh, it's an object, we know that it's it, but however, since it is in plural, we are going to use it like they, so you have to use have. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos acá, verdad? Con el presente perfecto, eh, vamos a utilizar auxiliares. So, en el caso de los auxiliares, los auxiliares son por lo general y todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Casi siempre vamos a tener eh, verbos y van a ser verbos de acción dependiendo del lugar donde ellos estén. Acá, si ustedes recuerdan, desde de los módulos básicos tenemos have, que el have nos indica pertenencia, ¿verdad? O que algo nos pertenece. Uh, yo tengo un peluche, por decirlo así. I have a teddy bear. I have a computer. Tengo una computadora. Entonces, es ese verbo de indicar que uh, yo tengo algo, ¿verdad? De la pertenencia de tener. Entonces, eh, ese mismo se utiliza en el presente perfecto para eh, como auxiliar dentro de él, ¿verdad? Y este auxiliar eh, significa el e a, ah, ¿verdad? Lo que nosotros decimos a nuestro buen español. Yo he visto, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ese E es este verbo have. Entonces, eh, con el verbo have, eh, vamos, o oh, bueno, en el auxiliar have or has, vamos a dividirlo en dos. Vamos a tener las primeras personas, ¿verdad? Eh, tanto singulares como plurales, para utilizarlo al have con el has y las terceras personas singulares se va a utilizar el has. No se combinan, no puede estar uno con el otro, sino que son exclusivos dentro de cada uno de sus pronombres personales. Caso contrario, que si usted tiene un objeto o algo de lo que esté hablando, ¿verdad? Y es, eh, en este caso, plural, ya sabemos que pues no podemos utilizar it y no tenemos un pronombre personal para las cosas en plurales, entonces utilizamos they, por lo tanto usted se va a ver obligada a utilizar el auxiliar have, ¿verdad? ¿Y por qué razón les digo primeras personas y segundas personas en plurales? Porque en este caso el you también puede ser plural, ¿verdad? No solamente es el usted o el tú, sino que puede ser ustedes cuando yo no estoy incluida dentro de lo que es la situación o el grupo. Entonces, esta es la primera parte que nosotros tenemos con el have. Posteriormente, vamos a tener eh, las affirmative. No sé si hasta aquí hay preguntas. ¿Alguien tiene preguntas? No, teacher. Sí, ¿alguien iba a decir algo? Perdón. No, teacher, I don't. I don't have it. You don't have it. Okay, so awesome. Have a has plus birth. Participle.
Okay, maybe I forget to mention something, right? Uh, here we are gonna be using verbs, right? Um, let's see the verbs. The verbs o los verbos en este caso van a ser en el pasado participio, ¿verdad? Eh, dentro del pasado participio y dentro de los verbos. Utilizando verbos tenemos a uh, regular. And in this case, uh, irregular ones, right? Irregular. So the regulars, as you might remember, right? Or if you remember, are the ones that we add ed, right? Uh, D or I E D. And the irregular ones uh, change, right? Pronunciation. And writer form. Dentro de los irregulares cambia totalmente su pronunciación y su forma de escritura, ¿verdad? En algunos de los casos o en los más conocidos. Y vamos a continuar mañana porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo, ¿verdad? Así que este, si tienen alguna duda, pregunta, comentario con respecto al presente perfect, déjenmelo saber dentro del eh, grupo de, de WhatsApp y de igual manera yo les estaría contestando sus inquietudes. Por cualquier cosa, de igual manera siempre les voy a mandar el, este documento para que ustedes lo tengan y así pues lo puedan tener cuando ya lo tengamos terminado. So, pasen buenas noches, gracias por unirse, que descansen y tengan cuidado mañana ¿verdad? con estas tormentas. Take care. Good night, my friends. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.